Hello, Ryan Borden here, aka Loopline. In this video, we're going to cover how to split a list. By that, I mean I have a list of 98 URLs here. I could have 9.8 million or 98 million URLs. So it doesn't matter. And I'm going to export that and split it into files that are smaller. So let's say I have 98 here and I want to split it into files of 13 URLs each. I can do that. If I have 98 million in here and I want to split it into 1 million each, I can do that. There's two ways we can do that. There is in Scrapebox here in the main area and then there is an actual add-on, the dupe remove add-on as well. Now the difference being if you want to pull up and work with a list of like a million URLs, the main scrape box here is really great for that. If you want to pull up a list of like 98 million URLs, you probably want to use the dupe remove add-on because it doesn't give you as much visual control here, but um, or it's visually different, I guess, but it's going to be more efficient, memory efficient for working with massive lists. So I'd call this, you know, I probably would put three, four, five million in here, but I have a nice machine. So if you were to have run into issues with resources, then use the dupe remove add-on. So let's look at both. I've got 98 URLs. Let me go to export URL list and split that list. Again, I said I was going to put it in 13 URLs and we're going to save it here. And I'm just going to call it the main split for main scrape box window and we're going to split that and then we can put in the number of URLs up to a million per file and then hit apply. Of course we get examples up here what's going to happen with naming conventions but once I do it let's open it up here and we can see I have 13 URLs each in each one here so there's the first 13 and the second 13 and it's just going down the list and splitting them out. So that's one way I can split them. Another way I can split them is if I go to the add-ons. Now, if you don't have the dupe remove add-on, go to show available add-ons, find it in the list, install it. When you're done, go back to add-ons and go to the dupe remove add-on. Inside of the dupe remove add-on, we have several functions, but we're gonna look at the split right now. So I can select a source file, whereas with here, I'm just loading them in. I can paste them in or I can import them. Here, I actually need to select a file itself so let's click on this and I've got a large list here I think it's a few million I'm gonna split it to a hundred thousand each because we want to make it so we can open this and you can see it again it tells us about naming conventions here and I'm gonna hit split file it's going to split the file in the same folder that you started in so in this case I started in the large list folder and we can actually watch it happening here and we can see large list being split out right here and so this is the original large list. We can see it's quite large. Now we're opening in into file sizes of 100K each. And I'm just gonna open one while it runs there and we can see it you know, buzzing out the rest of them down here. And we can see here they are just a list of domains because that's what happened to be in there. Now it's worth noting that the file splitting works with more than just domains. It's line by line. So if you had a list of email addresses, this text files, of course, TXT format, but if you had a list of email addresses, if you had a list of text, anything, keywords, doesn't matter, it could be a, an article, it's going to split them out one line at a time based on, you know, each individual line is going to be considered here, so this is 100,000 lines, so it's lines. Same thing happens in here in the grid, it's a line by line grid, so it's not just URLs, you could use it for anything. But that is how you can split reasonably sized lists in the main area here and then split out much larger lists here in the dupe remove add-on. For reference, I believe the maximum cap is like 180 million lines. So if you have a file with 180 million lines, it works here. Now, it might work with a file that's larger than 180 million lines, but you might need, you know, monster machine resources. So how much you can do obviously is subjective to your machine resources. If you're running this on a $200 laptop, you know, you might not be able to work with 180 million lines, right? Just because you need more resources. So that is how you can split files of anything, text, emails, keywords, whatever, into smaller files. If you don't have Scrapebox, click the link up here now or go to scrapebox.com and you can roll down here and pick up your copy and if you miss it, it's in the video description down below. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.